Hello and welcome to another Beauty Box unboxing. I'm really rather late with this one, I'm afraid. This is the Cohorted Box for August 2023. So it's a subscription box. It costs £39.99 £39 and it works one month in advance, meaning you'll receive your first Beauty Box between the 1st and the 15th of the following month. So if you signed up now, bearing in mind we're actually in September, you're going to then receive the October box. Now, I've had a quick look on the website and it looks like that's going to be the Think Pink Edit in support of breast cancer awareness. They did one last year, which was really good, I thought. Um, there is a sneak peek of one of the products on there, the Pixie Glow Tonic. Not sure what size it is, can't really tell. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see what's in that one. I've still got to go through the September box yet though, which is a Colour Wow collaboration apparently. Um, but obviously, like I say, if you sign up now, it's September, so you're going to get the October box. Last month was, I can't believe I'm saying that, a collaboration with Avant, and they say that the value of this is worth £423. If you do want this particular box and you're not a subscriber, it is available in the cohorted um, online shop. But you do have to pay more for a one-off box. It's £50. And then I think you do have to pay delivery charges on top, which you don't have to with the subscription. I might be wrong there, but when I did buy a one-off box once, I did have to pay extra delivery charges. Now, be careful because it is listed as the second edition box on the um, website. Now, there is a card with this one. It's got a QR code, takes you to their online app. Now, it, I think I did have to do the usual, uninstall it and re-download it again this month. I think I did anyway. Um, it was a while ago when I got it. I've been ridiculously busy and things have happened and gone wrong so i'll tell you about it at the end um if i can remember which i will try my hardest to i'm going to get through this as quickly as possible now if you do decide to subscribe at the moment use the code cohorted gift me to get a free gift from huda beauty looks like it's an eye palette so that might be quite nice now there is a brief introduction to avant skincare on the cohorted um app and they say founded in an in Old Street, London in 2016, this artistic hub greatly inspired Avant's slick and innovative brand identity with design as a key component of our brand. You see, I haven't done a video for so long, I've forgotten how to speak. We aim to educate our customers by helping them to better understand the ingredients they put on their skin and make an informed choice. Now, apparently, I'll show you the products we've got here, which do list the ingredients on them. But I think if you buy a lot of them from Avant Direct or other suppliers, they do come in cardboard boxes. And I think on the boxes, it sounds like they actually put descriptions of what those ingredients do, which is quite useful. We didn't get any cardboard boxes in this, but it's one of with collaboration boxes, you often don't get the exact kind of full packaging that you do get um, if you're buying the individual product. Now, the first item in the box is the Protein Complex Restructuring Niacinamide Defence Serum. This is 30 mils. It's got an RRP of £79. Now, at the moment, there are offers on the brand's website. So you can get, I think, pretty much all of these things, maybe not all of them, um, for reduced prices. And this one you can get for £55.30. And they say by blending a powerful combination of ingredients such as niacinamide and tripeptides, this serum works to soften and energize skin whilst helping achieve clearer, brighter and smoother skin. Tripeptides work to stimulate collagen and elastin production, increasing skin fur skin's firmness and reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Niacinamide aims to visibly improve the appearance of enlarged pores uneven skin tone, fine lines, dullness, and weakened skin surface. Cohorted says to use, you take a pea-sized amount of the serum onto fingertips and apply to cleansed face and neck decolletage. Allow a few minutes to fully absorb into your skin before proceeding with the rest of your skincare routine. And you can use it morning and evening. 
So I've had a go with this. I've been using it in the morning now. I have had this box for a couple of weeks now, maybe even three. So I've had, I have had quite a lot of use out of it because I've been intending to do these videos and then things have gone wrong. So this is my last attempt. And if it goes wrong today, then I'm not going to do it. Um, but I did use it this morning as well. And I've used it in combination with a couple of other products in the box this morning. I'll show you what it looks like. Now, when I first heard this was going to be an Avant box, I was a little bit concerned because I have had reactions from some of the products before. But luckily, all of these were absolutely fine. So this is what it looks like. I don't even know whether I've shown you this. And as you can see, they do list their ingredients on the packaging. And this is what this one looks like. So it is a creamy one. Now, what I like about these, and I'm not sure whether this has been the case in the past, they all seem to have a really nice fragrance to them. So this one, it does blend in really, really well. It's got a really beautiful, kind of like um, almost a Percy and Reed type fragrance. You know, um, the hair products really sort of fruity perfumed nice i liked this i don't normally go for sort of niacinamide products but this in combination with one of the other products the next product i'm going to show you worked really well together i wasn't sure whether they would but they did now that this is the next product now i have got a slight problem with this one this is what it looks like i don't really get to see that the it's very bright the light shining on it um, this is the Vino Concentrate Refining Serum, 30 mils, and it's got an RRP of £72. But again, it's on the brand's website at the moment for £50.40. Now, the description on the brand's website, I think they need to sort their website out a little bit, to be honest, because the description, the main sort of header, I've just noticed there's a hair stuck in the uh, lid of that. It's not very good. It's, I've been using it quite a lot, so that's why. Um, the description on the brand's website, the sort of header description, is, ex <laughs> is exactly the same as for the niacinamide product. And then when I looked at the cohorted description, that was very similar too. So it's been a bit difficult to get the description for this. So what they did say is very similar to the last product. This serum works to soften and energize skin whilst helping achieve clearer, brighter and smoother skin. Moreover, it aims to increase skin's firmness. So I think maybe it's just a bit of a typo on the brand's website and a repeat. We all make mistakes. We're all human. And that sort of thing happens quite a lot. What I have done though is because cleverly they do put their ingredients on the packaging I've taken a copy of those so I can tell you about those it seems to be basically it's a hydrating and anti-aging kind of product so the ingredients are hyaluronic acid then also to tocopherol which I think is a form of vitamin E cassava a root vegetable with various skincare benefits including moisturization tarragon which has a hydrating which has hydrating and protective qualities. Maltodextrin supports the natural moisturizing factors found within the first few layers of the skin. Wine, apparently red wine's good for skin and it's packed with antioxidants. Lactic acid, glycerin, palalin, and tripeptide one, which is good for skin's firmness and reduction in the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So I think that's what it does. I've had to look up some of those things. I mean, some of them we kind of know, don't we? But some of them I thought I'll look up and see what they are. So for me, that's kind of moisturizing, hyaluronic acid type um, product. And what I've done is I've used it in combination with the niacinamide one. I actually used this one first on top. Um, it's quite, you don't need a lot of this. This is more like a sort of gel type serum. And it does that hyaluronic acid thing where it just goes all over the place. So I used that first, then the niacinamide. And together, my skin felt very, very silky soft. It was a great base that I wanted in a skincare routine. So you do apply it in the morning and at night after cleansing. And they say a tip that when 
cleansing your face before applying serum, use tepid water. Hot water can make your skin perspire, which inhibits absorption, and cold water will close pores, blocking the serum's effectiveness. Um, I think I just do that naturally anyway, because I don't want it hot and I don't want it cold. So, you know, it Goldilocks just right. Okay, the next item. Now, this one was the one I was looking forward to. And to be honest with you, it's the one I, I like the least in the box. It is the Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream, 50 ml, RRP 97 pounds. Now, it is that RRP on the brand's website. But again, it's on sale for £67.90, but it does seem to become the, to come in a slightly nicer packaging, like a little glass pot. I do like a glass pot. I must admit, when I don't mind that packaging. I quite like the last one. It sort of looks sleek and lovely, but this just looks boring, doesn't it? It's just a boring old bit of packaging. So and there's no way I'd pay. I just wouldn't pay £97 for something that came like that. Maybe in a glass pot. Well, it's probably still wouldn't, to be fair. Um, anyway, Cohorted says this product combines the signature ingredients, hyaluronic acid, seawater, jojoba oil, and so soy lecithin. Its powerful moisturising properties help to keep the skin hydrated, making it an excellent additive for mature, dry, or overworked skin kind of i tick all three boxes there it aims to smooth fine lines and wrinkles works to deeply hydrate and helps prevent and reverse signs of aging the brand says we love to apply this unique age radiance day cream whilst the skin is still damp giving your skin the opportunity to soak up more of the amazing goodness from the ingredients and actives in the product it doesn't give your skin the opportunity to dry out which can happen with conventional moisturizers that need to be applied to dry skin this ensures beautifully nourished skin. Now, I have tried this a few times. I meant to say, actually, on the last product, not very organised today, as per usual, that this has a fragrance as well. So I'm just going to pop it over here. Because um, that's what I liked about all these products. Yeah, that's, that's got a different fragrance. Again, slightly floral, but very gently so. So that's lovely too. Now, this one is um quite interesting because it's blue it's blue i don't know whether you can see that um because i'm wearing bright blue so it sort of matches my color scheme there um actually it matches my bracelet so i'm going to put that on my arm now this at first is gorgeous blends in beautifully it does have a smell again, a different one yet again. That's like sort of creamy sort of smell. Um, the only problem with this one, and I don't know why, but it just, it, my skin feels soft with it, first of all. It doesn't feel dry, but it does that tight thing where it makes my skin feel quite tight. For me, who's suffered with dry skin all my life, I don't like that feeling because it just makes me keep wanting to touch my skin to see if it's feeling dry and needs some kind of rehydration. I, then I realise that it's absolutely fine. It doesn't, but the feeling's there and it's, I just don't like that feeling. So for me, this is the one product that seems to be doing it and I've tried it out quite a few times in different ways, including with the damp skin as they say um but it still has that effect for me so not so keen on this one which i am slightly disappointed about because i thought that was going to be the best thing in the box for me i'm i make i haven't decided what i'm going to do with it i might keep it i've used it loads already so it's probably best if i do keep it okay the next item is the, now, this one I used quite a while ago, so it's probably completely dried out now. It's the Centifolia Rose Radiance Capturing Mask. It's got an RRP of £19, but it is on offer, or it was when I checked for £13.30 on the brand's website. They say, designed to thoroughly soothe and calm the skin, this rose mask contains powerful ingredients that will work to cleanse impurities and reduce the appearance of redness. 
harboring intensive hydrating, soothing and antioxidant properties, Rosa Centifolia flower water aims to lessen redness, skin irritation and the appearance of wrinkles. Hyaluronic acid aims to penetrate deep into the skin to hydrate and instantly help improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And it's well known for its healing, skin soothing, antibacterial and inflammatory properties. Seeker aims to intensely moisturize and calm your skin. I think I read that right. You apply it to clean dry skin, leave on 15 to 20 minutes, remove massaging any remaining essence into the face. Now I used this when I probably was first originally intending to do this video which is about a week ago um luckily i wrote the notes down about it lots of serum there is a fragrance i don't know whether there still is oh there is actually that smells stronger now than it did then because i've put it's a gentle one like a baby wash but it actually smells quite it does smell like a baby wash type product no irritation skin looked and felt fresh and lovely afterwards so it was a great mask to use okay the next it was just normal by the way the only thing is though the only thing i would say is because i used it um a week ago unless i'd written that down i don't think i would remember it it wasn't memorable you know how some masks are memorable this one was great to use it was okay but it wasn't memorable Okay, the next item is the vitamin C. Now I've got to work out which one this is. I think it's this one, isn't it? Oh gosh, dropping everything. Vitamin C Hydro Lock Night Reset Mask. It's 50 mils with an RRP of £77. And that is the RRP again on the site, web, brand's website, but it's on offer for £53.90. They say this revolutionary mask works to give you brighter looking skin, a potent antioxidant that can neutralize free radicals. Vitamin C helps to lighten hyperpigmentation and brown spots, even out skin tone and enhance skin's radiance. It also hydrates and moisturizes, supports collagen production, reduces signs of aging, provides the antioxidant protection, enhances skin's natural repair process and soothes and calms the skin. You apply evenly over your face and neck, leave it on overnight, but in the morning you rinse your face with lukewarm water to remove any residue from the mask. Gently pat skin dry and then follow with your regular skincare routine. It can be used two to three times per week. Quite like this one. Now, I always use vitamin C products in the daytime, so it's quite nice to have the ones. I've had them before that you can use at night time, um, but it is nice to have one to use at night time. And I have used it a couple of times now and I really like it. And again, I'm just wondering where to put it because it's got a fragrance and I don't want to get it confused with the other one. So this is like a cream. Goes on nicely. Yeah, that's got a different fragrance again. Slightly perfumed. Maybe not quite as nice as the other ones. A little bit, little bit fruity, but sweet fruity like um fruit sweets it's yeah it's it's okay but as a mask it did work well and the next morning your face does feel nice and smooth and soft as you would want it to now there is another nighttime product um which i actually think i prefer slightly more i think this did make my skin feel a little bit nicer in the morning this is the in-depth recovery collagen hydra surge overnight mask 50 mils with an rrp of 79 pounds and it is available on the brand's website that rrp again on offer at the moment 55 pounds 30. they say with benefits that work relentlessly to give you around the clock moisturization this night mask was designed to ensure you wake up with a refreshed replenished and revitalized complexion cohorted lists the benefits as it deeply hydrates and nourishes promotes overnight skin renewal, boosts collagen, restores youthful radiance, enhances skin's elasticity. So with this one, you cleanse, apply your normal toner serums, apply a small amount of the mask. Now with this one, they say a little goes a long way, but you can add more if needed. Spread over your face, avoiding the eye area and massage in circular motions. Again, leave overnight and rinse with lukewarm water in the morning, same as the other one. 
continue with your normal skincare routine, use two to three times per week, depending on your skin's condition and needs. Now, I really like this one. I think that um, this is one of the, this one and the, um, this one, the hyaluronic -y moisture serum -y one are my favourite things in the box. I'll just put, I'm just working out where to put this. Let's put it on this arm and see. This has a fragrance as well, I think. Cream, but this one does rub in nicely. And again, like they say, a little goes a long way. So let's have a little sniff. Yeah, actually that one smells very similar to the last one, I think. They smell quite, quite the same. Maybe not quite. It smells like one of the other products anyway. Um, but it's a nice one to use. And that one, you do feel, it feels like quite moisturising as you're putting it on. Um, and you do feel that your skin feels really nice and soft and plump in the morning. So that's the end of the Avon products. Now, as, you, as usual, not all the time, but a lot of the time, you do get a little perfume sample with cohorty now i know that some um because cohorty do supply their boxes in other parts of the world i know that in australia for example i don't think you get the little perfume samples there so i do apologize if you haven't got one of these but i will tell you about this one because i really do rather like this so you can look out for this one if you're a fruity perfume kind of person now i'm going to say all these words wrong so please forgive me this is Labo Laboratorio Olfativo Arancia Rossa. So if you wanted to get 100 mils of this, you could get it for £90 on Liberty London website. And I would actually consider doing that. I might have to um, start their little £20 a month subscription service just to, so I can buy this at some point, have an excuse to buy it. Comes in a rather lovely little green thing. Now there's not a lot left in there, but I have worn it a few times because it's absolutely gorgeous. Now Cohort ex explain that the master perfumer, Jean-Claude Elena, inspired by his love for Italy, signs a collection for Laboratorio Olfactory called Viaggio in Italia. And perfumes in, in that collection, they're perfumes that are like a ray of sunshine on a typical winter day. This is one of those. This particular fragrance has notes of Italian blood orange, orange blossom, passion fruit and white musk. So I'm just going to pause a second, make sure that I did get the right name of the perfume. I'm sure I did, but in my head, I just need to think, just double check. I'll be back in a sec. I did. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why I thought I didn't then, but there you go. Anyway, I love this perfume. I love this perfume. I mean, I always love an orangey type perfume, but this is something really amazing because it lasts and lasts all day with a very similar perfume. But what happens as well is that it brings in the white musk which i am a big fan of in perfumes anyway so to have fruit white musk it's always going to be a hit with me this is gorgeous it's come through into the white musk now but i've still got that citrusy hit as well and it's quite strong it lasts a good while the initial burst of this i don't want to waste this that's the only trouble but oh Gosh, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. It's definite orange, grapefruity to me. I know they don't say it is, but definite real hit of citrus and fruit and beautifulness, then ending in that white musk. I love this. I would buy this in a heartbeat. No doubt, no doubt about it. Okay, finally in this box, I got another couple of samples yet again. <laughs> Another shampoo and conditioner, um, which I got in the last two cohorted boxes. Um, so this is the Undone by George Northwood shampoo and conditioner. Now, I actually got this in the last box and I have moaned saying that the shampoo, there's not enough to do sort of a double shampoo. But now I've got another one. I can. I don't know where the other two have gone. My house is completely upside down at the moment. 
as you can see there's boxes all over the place so that's why i can't find anything um but when i do find it i shall use them together and have a proper go with that shampoo so anyway that's the end of the box um i think it's actually a lot better than i was expecting i was expecting to get some products that wouldn't agree with my skin i don't know i liked it more a lot more than i thought i would so we got the niacinamide serum which actually i don't tend to use niacinamide but i will use this one because it goes very very well with this other one the v i i don't know what it was called but i'll call it the hyaluronic acid one um together they did a nice job skin felt lovely and smooth now then we had the day cream which do you know what I, I don't think it's for me you know there is quite a lot left in there so i probably will pass that on because i just can't see myself reaching for that one out of the choices that i've got um then we had the sheet mask which was lovely not necessarily memorable but at the time i think i enjoyed it um, then we have the two night products. Now, I kind of wish we didn't have two night products. I don't know why. It just when I saw them, that was a little bit disappointing that we had two of them. So we had the vitamin C one um, and then the, the collagen uh, hyaluronic acid one, which I actually like both of these. So I'm happy enough to have. <coughs> then we had sorry i've got there's dust all over the house i've got dust in my throat as well um the perfume sample beautiful gorgeous would buy this would, might have to go on my christmas list and then the little shampoo and conditioner which i will have a go with so that's it it was an okay box i'm quite happy with that actually much much better than i expected now quick update on things because obviously i have been i don't think i've done a video for about two weeks there was a kind of reason so i had a week off um if you've noticed this by the way this was i went to visit my auntie in milton Keynes, and we were walking along to go and have lunch somewhere and i felt this terrible pain and i was wearing a denim jacket and there was a wasp just stuck in the cuff of my denim jacket and it stung me twice so that's over a week old that it came up very painful first of all luckily i'd got some antihistamines on me so i took an antihistamine which i think is a really good thing um but the itching then came in the following day and that lasted for days and days it's sort of stopped now but it still left this unpleasant mark so that was the first bit of mm, um then the next day we went out but had to do some decorating so the day i was going to film um i was doing decorating and it took a lot longer than i thought it always does doesn't it um, needed more coats of paint than I thought and then I caught I don't know what it was whether it was a little bit of a hint of Covid or just a cold but it felt really bad it started when I was doing the decorating and I felt that sort of tickle in your throat you get and did my little cough that I did back in April when I got Covid um, and then the next day I felt awful so I was in bed for a couple of days feeling really really rotten and then on bank holiday monday i just woke up and i thought oh it's gone now it just went it was it was i wasn't expecting it to go so quickly and i was completely fine um so yeah i mean my throat sounds a bit raspy today that's because <clears throat> there is a lot of dust in the house and i mean everything coated in dust there's boxes full of stuff everywhere everything's in boxes because of this um it's doing really well at the moment the building work the kitchen's going in at the moment so it's in a really good sort of part of it but it's the upheaval i don't know where anything is it's it's madness um then but that's what's been happening it's been so busy so busy and i am i'm tired i'm tired now it's been a very busy couple of weeks um as far as my diet's going do you know what i've done all right i've done all right i need to try and cut down on alcohol i've bought a book called something like 10 days to detox alcohol detox or something that my friend said she'd seen and you know, loads of good reviews so she's going to try it. i'm going to try it um maybe not for a couple of weeks because i think i'm going <laughs> to need it in that time um but yes that's kind of, that's what's been going on but all is 
good other than that the dogs are um doing okay too so i hope i see you again soon i've had my toil box i'm hoping to get that film this weekend but again it really does depend on all sorts of things but i will do my best in the meantime i'm going to send you loads and loads of positive energy oozing out from me to you and i really really hope that i see you again here soon take lots of care bye bye